were you before this one said that game four was Minnesota's Super Bowl? Um, and then he goes out and, and loses this one, 14 and one now in closeout games. And Mike Conley had quite the game and, and, and outplayed him. Did you have that on your bingo card, Lou, before yesterday's game that we'd have this situation where Mike Conley outplays Kyrie Irving in a closeout? Listen, all, all great records and all good stats are, are meant to be broken or are meant to be trumped. Uh, Kyrie was 14 and 0 in closeout games before this one. And, and like you said, this was their Super Bowl. You run into a team that's highly motivated, that don't want to go, that don't want to go home being swept and, and going on vacation. They showed a lot of pride. They showed a lot of resiliency. And, and like I said, I, I, me knowing the, me knowing the game in details, I thought they did a great job of, of fixing some of their game plans. You know, the single side tag was killing them with Derek Lively in there. Now that they don't have him in there and it's Gafford, Gafford doesn't have the playmaking ability that Derek Lively has. So that gives uh, Minnesota a different look on defense where they can kind of take more chances and trapping Kyrie, trapping Luka um, in the middle of the paint. And, and they got a lot of they got a lot of great production from that. From the from the guard standpoint, from from mano a mano, I thought Mike Conley just played with a lot of poise on the defensive end. He was disruptive on the offensive end. He always made timely buckets, always made timely plays, and that veteran leadership was there. So that was a good battle. I thought I thought Conley got the better of him. I look forward to Game Five and what these bring to the table. But like I said, as long as Derek Lively is out, this Minnesota Timberwolves team they're going to be able to take more chances on that defensive end and clog that paint up. Yeah, the comment wasn't outrageous. This was the Minnesota Timberwolves Super Bowl. Yeah. This is the biggest game of the year. They lose this game. They're 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 flying to Cabo today. So Kyrie wasn't wrong. I, again, I think he just had an off night. He missed a couple of bunnies. He also hit some ridiculous left hand floaters in the lane yesterday. Uh, but I feel like the link kind of got to him with McDaniels kind of riding them with Gobert in the paint. He was forced to take a lot of hard shots. And when they don't go down, you can see some inefficient nights, like a six for 18 from the field. So I don't mind the quote. This was their Super Bowl. This was a much bigger game, obviously, with their season on the line for Minnesota. But Dallas now has to show maturity. They have to understand, OK, we already went in there. Minnesota once got a game. We went in there twice, got another game. Like, can we go on their home court in their season and go get three in Minnesota? And get off our get off our legs and get some rest before next Thursday when game one starts against the Boston Celtics. That's gotta be their mindset. Because again, if they happen to lose this game and they go back to Dallas, all the pressure is on the maps. You wanna avoid that at all costs. I can't even imagine the chaos. Uh, a lot of Derek Lively mentions there, Shams. Any word on if we could see him back in game five? Day-to-day -day injury with that next brain, there's obviously a chance he could play in game five, uh, but th this is an injury. You saw him on the bench. He, was, he kept stretching his neck out. He kept uh, kind of rolling his neck side to side. Clearly, it was bothering him. He got hit in the back of the head, and it's turned into and really morphed into a neck injury. The good news for the Mavs is he's not currently in concussion protocol. Uh, that's the one saving grace you can take from this, but still, this is something where they, they want it to be safe sat him out of game four, but there is a chance he's back in, in game five. They're just going to have okay. to evaluate him today and tomorrow. And you see you see his value, too, because Luka and Kyrie create so much attention. They're so good in that pick and roll. They're so good in that single side tag, like Lou said, where their best big is a, is a lob threat. And Gafford gave them really good minutes last night. There was a couple plays in early last night where he was blocking shots. He, he really got them going. He got that arena buzzing. Uh, and he provides that lob threat. Derek Jones gets that lob threat, but he's obviously small. Pal didn't give him great minutes last night. And Kleber, you can't expect him just to get thrown in there in the Western Conference Finals and be productive. But I think every game that goes on, Kleber is going to get better. But this just shows you how important that lob threat for a guy like Luka is. When he draws two on the ball, it's so much easier just to throw it to the rim and let this young kid go get it. And that's a huge hole that they did not fill last night with him out. They had that one, though, to Derek Jones. I don't know where y'all were watching the game, but there was an audible sound that came out of most people's faces uh, when it happened. Do, do they need him, Lou? Like, I, I don't mean to sound callous when I say that. I, obviously, he's a vital part of this roster. But to close out this series, just needing one more win, do they need Lively out there? Or can he get more rest? They don't need him, but... It'll be nice. <laughs> It'll be nice. You know, Chandler and I, we keep, we keep alluding to that single side tag. When you throw that, when you blitz in the middle of the, of the floor and you give the ball to a guy like a Lively, he's able to kick it out, make passes. He's able to Euro step and finish in, and finish in traffic. When you got Gafford, he's more of a lob guy. He's more of a finisher. 
they're giving that ball to him in the middle of the paint, and he's not he's not as confident in making those decisions, making those plays, and he's traveling, he's turning it over. So you got to make him a lob threat, and and Lively gives him the opportunity to continue to play that way. And so with him being out, uh, like I just uh, like I just mentioned, it gives Minnesota an opportunity to be more aggressive on the defensive end. Where we see who they truly are, the defensive team, who they've been. Um, throughout the entirety of this season. And now that Lively is out, they can kind of play a little bit more aggressive. So do they absolutely need him? No, but it, it damn sure be nice to have them, to have that option um, for them to open up, open that paint back up for them. Good to have him out there. Okay, guys, after game three, Nas Reed said that if any team could win four in a row and come back, it was them. They got the one, Chandler. What kind of chance are you giving them to make it happen? History. I mean, literally, no one's ever done it. So, of course, they're going to they say they could be the one because it hasn't happened yet. I, I keep saying this, but if they win game five and they go back to Dallas, I think it really, really shifts the energy. And if it goes past game six, I like Minnesota winning at home game seven. So if I'm Dallas, I want to close this deal either tomorrow night or I definitely want to close it game six at home. Percent-wise, I, I don't know. They have a 10, 20 percent chance right now of coming, okay. maybe less to come back. But if it goes to seven, I like Minnesota. So Dallas better lock it up these next two games. Do I have any takers? I think it's possible, and maybe I'm just wishful thinking because we don't want to sit here with no games to watch for an entire week. So let's yeah, just well, make that happen. Selfishly, <laughs> I want a long series just so we have stuff to talk about till Thursday, but. <laughs> I, you know how hard it is. Think about how hard it was for Dallas to win four straight. Now Minnesota has to go and do the same thing on the back end, being down 3-0. There's a reason it True. hasn't happened. 